Every year, the university takes time to recognize our veterans and pay tribute to the service men and women who have bravely worn the uniform of the United States. Throughout our nation's history, America's soldiers have always answered, answered the call when asked to protect our nation. From the fields and forests of worn torn Europe, to the jungles of Southeast Asia in past conflicts, to this century's war in, wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, America's veterans have stood tall in the face of grave danger and enabled our country to become the greatest force for freedom. Many of our faculty, staff, and students and neighbors know the tremendous stress of having a loved one who is deployed. So we salute our hometown heroes and heroines, and we recognize their courage and sacrifices that they make and that their families, friends, and colleagues make at the very same time. Our whole lives we hear the word hero used a lot. But what is a hero? And how do you define who a hero is? When I talk to my friends about their heroes, they name people like Michael Jordan, Babe Ruth, or firefighters and police officers, but they could never tell me why. They just knew that these people were special and they were, they were able to accomplish things that others couldn't or were afraid to try. My definition of a hero is an ordinary person who does extraordinary things. And that's why I believe all veterans are heroes. Because military members are ordinary people like me who come from all walks of life and they do extraordinary things every day. But if you ask them about those extraordinary things, they'll likely tell you that they're just doing their job. Every day our service women and servicemen put themselves in harm's way to protect all of us. That's one more reason to stop and appreciate the service of every military member, past, present, and those who are coming up the line. Take a moment to remember the extraordinary things veterans have done so you can do those familiar things that make life great. Thank you.